everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. In this video, I'll be trying one of the new palettes from Hourglass from their holiday collection of 2021, and it's the Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3. There are two other palettes in the holiday collection, and I did order them, but I haven't received them yet. I did see on Instagram that there was an early access for this palette, so I went ahead and ordered it. Then, 12 hours later, everything dropped on Hourglass.com. I did order this and the two Universe palettes off of Hourglass.com. But in this video, let's talk about this one, the Ambient Lighting Volume 3. The first two palettes, Volume 1 and Volume 2, I did not get because when they came out, I looked at it and it's like, I don't think those will match my skin tone. So I didn't get them. And of course, Volume 2, there was a big hoopla with it last year. The marketing department just kind of dropped the ball on it because when I saw it, they put the Volume 2 palette next to a model that had deeper skin tone. So I thought, okay, maybe this one I could try to get. And then when I saw it, it was too light and they were existing shades. So I went ahead and passed on that one just like volume one. So when volume three came out, I looked at the picture and looked at the swatches and I thought, okay, I think I'm going to get this one. So here's the case of the volume three. It has that chocolate brown mirror and it's going to reflect everything that's in front of me here. I'm going to try to hold it up. Here's the front of the case and here's the back. And how you open up this palette is just like the other palettes where you open it up to one side. Now I have to say this, I am left-handed so this one is a little awkward for me to open it. Every time it's like I want to use this thumb, my left thumb, but I have to use my right thumb to open it. I know, I know. It's just the little things but I'll survive. It's not a big deal really but I just wanted to mention that. But yeah, it is a little awkward for my left-handedness. A lot of things are awkward for me anyway. <laughs> and then when you close it, it does have that snap closure. So let's open it up again. It has a mirror and and here are the three shades that are in this ambient lighting palette volume three and I'm kind of happy with the shades that are in here all three of these are new shades they're not existing shades now this palette cost $64 and I want to say that's how much it cost last year I mean correct me if I'm wrong but this one is $64 I did sign up for emails to get 15% off hourglass and that's what I did and so I got this one 15% off now I have not tried any finishing powders from hourglass because every time I see them they were always too light. So this will be the first time I've tried a finishing powder from Hourglass. So I believe these two are finishing powders and this one I believe is a highlight. But let me give you the exact names of these shades. This one is internal light. The one in the middle is transcendent light. And this one is the prismatic strobe light. Now I'm going to swatch them on my hand and I'm going to do like a regular swatch and then I'm going to buff them out. Because with Hourglass it's kind of hard to see when it's regularly swatched if you know what I mean. Because their powders are very soft and they just buff really nicely into the skin. Now I do have a couple other blushes that I love and I brought one here. I believe this is at night. I'm going to use this one later but let me go ahead and swatch this on my arm here so you can see. So this one is eternal light and it's a golden amber finishing powder that illuminates and enhances the complexion. Now I have to say that this is a pretty amber shade and look even how it swatches how it just blends into the skin. Now this one is a transcendent light and this is a warm sienna finishing powder and then let's swatch the prismatic strobe light and this is a rich copper metallic strobe powder so here are the three swatches in this palette and i have to say that they do show up on my skin tone so i'm going to do now is just kind of buff it out so you can see so here I kind of buffed it out a little bit, as much as I could with my fingers. So yeah, you can still see the shades on my skin tone here. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on for you guys, and I have everything on my face except for bronzer, blush, highlight, and powder. Now since I have not tried any of their finishing powders, I'm going to go very light-handed on this. I just want to see how it will work on my skin tone. So first I'm going to use the Transcendent Light, and I'm going to use this as a bronzer, because I think that would work on my skin tone. You don't have to try it this way. This is how I'm going to try it, and then we'll go from there. So so I have the Indochine brush from Sonia G and it's a little bit on the fluffy side so we'll just go from there. Grab some product, tap it off, let me get my mirror and then let's see if this one will work as a bronzer for me. Oh that's pretty and that just melted into my skin there. Oh that's a pretty bronzer for me. Let me keep buffing it out. And this is a fluffy brush, so if you use more of a packed brush, it'll probably go on deeper. Ooh, but I like that. All right, let's keep going. Let's go on this side. All right, what do you think, guys, as a bronzer? The Transcendent Light. Not bad. Bring it down my neck. This is a pretty bronzer. I like this shade. Oh, you know what? 
Let me bring you in closer. After I already did the first shade, I'll try to zoom it in, but yeah, let me bring you in closer. Okay, I hope that's better. But yeah, I do like this as a bronzer. It's a beautiful shade. I mean, I could probably even use this as a blush too. All right, oh, just messed up my hair. Now I'm gonna go in with the refer number five and I'm gonna go in with the first shade, Eternal Light. And I'm gonna kind of use that as, well, there's a lot of product there, as a finishing powder to go underneath my eyes. Okay, that's just one side, what do you think? That did blur a little bit there. And let me do my spots here, my oily spot. And my chin. Okay, what do you think? One side with eternal light? No eternal light on this side. Okay, let me do the other side now. Oh, got my lipstick on it. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Let me get my forehead. Wow, it is blurring some pores there. And I have a lot of pores on the bridge of my nose. I have to admit, this looks beautiful on my skin. And it doesn't look powdery, it doesn't look cakey. I'm impressed so far. I mean, this is just one use, I'm impressed so far. All right, now I'm gonna use this one as a highlighter because this one is very pigmented and metallic-y. Pick some off the fan brush. Oh, let's see, which one is this one? This is the Wayne Goss number 15. All right, which side did I just put it on? <laughs> okay, let me just add a little bit more. I hope I didn't put it on that side. But let's use this as a highlight. Need a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Wow. For me, I like more of a golden highlight. I don't like a pinky highlight. It doesn't look well on my skin tone, but this is beautiful. I'm gonna put some underneath my brows too. All right, this one has highlight. This one doesn't. What do you think? All right, now this is how it looks like with all three shades. This is the transcendent light, the prismatic strobe light, and the eternal light underneath my eyes, and also in my cheeks and chin. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the first shade, Eternal Light, just to actually use that as a powder all over my face. Let me fix my hair, and there. What do you think, guys? Yeah, I like this. I like this, it shows up on my skin tone. It's not looking cakey, it's blending so nice into my skin. And I do like the one in the middle, the Transcendent Light is a bronzer for me. I mean, you can use these shades however you like. Now let me add some blush, just add some color to this look. This is the one by Hourglass at night. And this is really deep, so I just have to go once and then apply. All right, what do you think, guys? Now this is just my opinion, take it as you will. This video is to help you see what it looks like on my skin tone, but I'm really impressed with Hourglass. I think they came through this time. For us who has medium, tan, deep skin tones. The middle shade, the Transcendent Light, looks beautiful as a bronzer on my skin tone, and it just looks like my skin's not looking powdery or cakey. And the first shade, Eternal Light, beautiful as a finishing powder. Again, it just melts into my skin. It doesn't look powdery, doesn't look cakey, and it is kind of blurring my pores and my imperfections, especially right here too. And it just looks like my skin. What do you think guys? And then the strobe light, love that as a highlighter. I don't think I can use that anywhere else besides a highlighter, maybe as an eyeshadow. Oh, you know what, I don't think I did uh, this side. <laughs> I forgot to do this side underneath my brows. I mean, this is just a one-time use, but I have to say that I am impressed with the finishing powders by Hourglass. Like I said, I haven't tried any of their finishing powders because they always looked light. And I know if I put them on my skin, it's just gonna make me look ashy and kind of washed out. So that's why I never tried them. I'm glad it took, what, three times to finally get this one for us. So I think if you're my skin tone and deeper, I think this palette will work may work in different ways depending on how you use it and how you like it, but I think these shades do or will work for us medium to tan to deep skin tones. So here I am close up, and I just want you to see how it looks close up. So here's the Transcendent shade, the highlighting shade, and here's where I put the Eternal Light shade. 
Now I know I don't have the best complexion because I am 53 years old so I do have texture and pores and wrinkles and melasma spots but I do like how these powders are working on my skin. And it's not making me look shiny like Tin Man because there are some finishing powders that I have tried that just makes me look, wow, you can see me from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> I could blind you if I'm outside in this Texas sun, but I think Hourglass hit it out of the park with this one for us. Let's hope they keep going, and I can't wait to see what the two universe palettes look like. The universe and the universe unlocked. I think the universe is going to be a little too light for me, but we'll try that in another video. This video, let's concentrate on this palette, and yeah, I do like this. I mean, you can see the shades in the pan right there. I wish I had volume one and volume two to compare it to, but didn't get them because that just wasted money for me. I feel like I need a fluff up my hair. It's kind of flat today. Well, all right, you guys, I hope this video was helpful to see how this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3 will work on my skin tone. And if you do decide to get this palette, don't forget to sign up for email alerts from hourglass.com or wait till Sephora has it on sale. Now, I don't know if Sephora has this palette. Let me look. I know they have the Universe palette, and I saw that Space NK also has the Universe, both the Universe palettes on their site. But I didn't see this one. Yeah, I don't see this palette on Sephora or Space NK. So I believe so far this is only available at Hourglass.com. And it came within two days, very nicely packed. Because these powders are soft, very delicate, and so it was really packed in there nice. Well, Alright you guys, again, I hope this video was helpful for you guys to see how this palette will work on my skin tone. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And hopefully you see how the Universe palettes look on my skin tone. You all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.